record the end of the room. Thank you. 
in here. It is. Do you have any uh, requests? I will listen to them, but I will not play them. Uh, well, we had, a, we had a request on the break, but we told him we were going to keep playing yeah. anyways. Someone told, someone told me after we put the set list together, he didn't even put a Christmas song. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> the, first song, the first song is a song entitled uh, Senior Blues. You know, it has a bit of a kind of a Latin bass, you know, rhythmic uh, section. And then, of course, it's, it's very groovy and funky. Uh, it's a very, very nice song. The next one is entitled Sugar, kind of a straight-ahead jazz tune. So the next one we're going to play for you guys is entitled Nika's Dream. So I hope you enjoy it.
almost get up and dance to that, right? <coughs> so the other one is more of a Latin-based tune, and it's actually the name is Latin. But um, Jamel, oh, it's the one you asked me to call me, Bob. <laughs> Must be a day for tonight. That reminds me, I meant to turn off my. She wants to remind him. <laughs> so the the last song we just did. Remember, did I tell you? I don't know. I should wear my glasses, really. It's not the age, it's the eyes, in case you're wondering. It's the mileage. <laughs> <laughs> it was entitled N Nika's Dream. But it's it's a really happening song. I mean, in, in terms of jazz, I mean, uh, I mean, what really determines what jazz is, it's, uh, it's really all in the rhythm. Of course, the chord sequences are very, very defined. You know, if you compare this to, let's say, rock and roll or the blues. There's only so many chords you can fit in there to make it sound like the blues or rock. But jazz has a lot of chords and in between chords. It's almost like uh, when we talk about rhythmic pattern, you know, we're used to like a one, two, three, four count, right? If you listen to rock and roll, you're gonna hear dun, 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 dun. In, in jazz, it's still there, but sometimes you don't hear it. That's what we call syncopation. So or, it's or a bad bass player. <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically rhythm on top of rhythm on top of rhythm. You know, and then we as artists, when we play jazz, unless we can hear the 4-4, which in most cases we don't, we really have to have this clock inside of us to play if it's a 4-4 or 5-4 or 9-8, which would be Turkish. We're not going to be playing any Turkish music today. But this is, this is basically the gist of it all. Without rhythm, there's really no determination as to what kind of music it is. That's what determines what music is, whether it's country or rock or blues. And in every genre, you have different types of rhythms. So the one that we're going to play now is more of a Latin-based rhythm, and it's entitled Poinciana. Enjoy. Poinciana? Oh, sorry, yeah, we're, we're, I'm going ahead myself. The guys are so on the ball. That's be... why we get the beat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're on this, the this ball because we don't need glasses. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. The, the one before Poinciana is a beautiful song that I really love. And I actually recorded that one. And um, it's entitled Stolen Moments. We played it one month.
this one's entitled Poinciana. on key.
Ensemble is a group of people that have been playing with me for about, I don't know, seven, eight years now. Dean has been on and off. Steve has been with me since the get go, sort of, yeah. And Bob, never. In fact, they called me yesterday and said, well, we played together, but not, not in this. Uh, and then yesterday they said that, um, well, it's, might not be able to make it, you know, so I was kind of, oh man, I might have to play by myself. And then, but I, I could have called musicians, you know, basically piano player, drum maybe, and just play some tunes for you guys. That's the, that's the beauty of what we do. It, I could be anywhere. I could be in Colorado, go to a jazz club, and, you know, don't know the guys from a hole in the ground. I've done it. I've been to, to Montreal for a jazz festival. And then, you know, we're up there jamming. We just, the drummer speaks a different language, a ba you know, from all over the world, and we just say, Night Tunisia, G minor, and we do it. So that's the language that we speak, right? They're ready to start. This one is entitled Star Eyes. Enjoy it.
me or you want a little of the chicken or the pie? Actually, let's play, uh, we're going to throw it down here. We'll play a little ballad. It's a ballad, right, Bob? It's not a polka or anything like that. Do you guys have any questions about anything? <laughs> if you uh, tell me what this is, you're not going to win anything. You're gonna win it. You're gonna win something. This, this, I don't have a prize, but is there water behind here somewhere? He's right. He has been working out lately. I don't see water. Okay, so let's. Uh, we're gonna play a, a very nice little ballad here, and it's called "Every Time We Say Goodbye." And if you you go back and listen to the one that really made that song, you know, like I, I would think Ella Fitzgerald would be the one. So if you go and listen to her singing that song, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. It was written by Cole Porter. Yes, Mr. Cole Porter. Cole How do you Porter. Do you scat on the saxophone? Pardon me? How do you do scat on the saxophone? Scat on the saxophone? Yeah. Did I scat when I was playing? Okay, you said Ella Fitzgerald, but she's a scatter. Okay, well, when she's scatting, she's actually imitating what the horn players did. So it's not the other... <laughs> So that's yeah, that's, that's a good one. Yeah. So so when when I improvise or when musicians improvise, it doesn't have to be a sax player. It could be a trumpet player, it could be a guitar player. When you're actually soloing, this is what scatting is in you know in the vernacular of a human being speaking. And she was one of the best. She was amazing. She was one. Of, she was like a first for a lot of stuff. You know, she was the first to scat. She was her. That's correct. She was also the first that really started to sing bebop, which was a very, very complex type of music. Anyway, let's play the song. We're going to slow down here a little bit and let's make sure that this is a... Can you give me a B flat? <laughs>
people think to play fast, it's actually harder than to play slow. It's not, you play slow. Try to walk, walk really slow and not lose your balance <laughs> versus walking fast at regular speed. I do that all the time. <laughs> there you go. We'll talk to Steve after and he can give you some pointers on that. Yeah, anyone wanting to walk slow, I can help you. <laughs> you know, when you play, especially as a horn player, you know, you, you're doing playing a ballad, a, a beautiful slow song. You know, if you don't have your own tones properly and if you don't, you don't breathe properly, it's going to be sketchy. <laughs> and I find even myself sometimes it is because I, I you know, haven't been playing much in the last two, two and a half years. And, uh, you know, so anyway, we're having fun. We're going to do, yeah, we're going to do one song entitled uh, Will Wheels for Me. And I love this song by, check, it, check him out, Phil Woods. If you're not familiar with him, go online and one of the greatest, in my opinion, next to Charlie Parker, the greatest alto saxophone player.